Oh man, so I thought it was over, but hey man, it ain't. It ain't. Carl Crawford and Megan Stallion are still going at it. And she may not be just done with her deal or her dealings with 1501 Certified Entertainment yet. So what's going on right now is Meg is suing 1501 for $1 million. $1 million, yep. Yeah. She's suing them because saying the contract was done in bad faith. So, Carl Crawford has responded. It's a lot of things going back and forth. You know, on Meg's end, they see saying, listen, y'all been holding up my albums and you're not considering my last two projects as albums. For sure, something for the hotties. They're saying that wasn't an album. And also, they are still thinking or evaluating the last album that she put out, Trauma Zine. So she's suing them for that reason. 15 and one was like, listen, that's something for the hotties. That was not a complete album. You gave us a bunch of old throwaway songs. You're basically rushing out of your contract as well as this last one. We're gonna figure that one now, but you owe us some more money. You owe us more money than we owe you. So what we doing? What we doing? Meg also said that 15 and one leaked her project to sabotage her, meaning the Trauma Zine album that just came out. And 15 to 1, like, why would we leak your project? That hurts us. We want to make money off the project. We want to make some cash. So why would we leak your shit and we don't make any money? So they both are playing the crazy game. Jay Prince from Rap A Lot Records, who's cool with Carl Crawford, has been by his side. He put out a statement and Carl Crawford posted it on his IG. So we're going to peep what Jay Prince got to say about the situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. In the meantime, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Let's see what Jay Prince got to say. He, so he says, for years, we have stood by quietly as Megan Thee Stallion and her management at Rock Nation has lied about Carl, Carl Crawford and his 1501 label. The truth is that Carl discovered, developed, and fully financed Megan Thee Stallion early in her career, which led to a life-changing distribution agreement for her with 300 Entertainment. For 1501, earliest agreement with Megan, long before Megan Thee Stallion was a household name, 1501 generously agreed to give Megan 40% of its profits, which is substantially more than the customary record royalty that a new artist receives from a record label. That actually is um, pretty good, but check this out right here. So any attempt by Magna Stallion or Rock Nation to portray a contract that provides a new unknown artist with 40% of the label's profits as unconscionable or unfair is blatantly false and contrary to the customs or norms in the music industry. In fact, we have seen several Rock Nation contracts and Rock Nation pays this new artist a customary royalty that is significantly less than the 40% of profits that 1501 agreed to pay Megan. Accordingly, any statements alleging 1501's contract with Megan Stein is unconscionable are blatantly false and contrary to the facts or custom in the music industry and are made with specific intent to mislead and interfere with 1501's contractual rights. In addition, Magna Stallion has consistently and intentionally breached her 1501 contract with impunity for years in ways that are too numerous to list here. From entering into agreements and consistent with her contract, falsely claiming publishing shares that belong to 1501, failing to notify account or pay ancillary revenue, and falsely claiming that she's out of her contract and now falsely alleging that 1501 leaked her album when the album was always intended by Megan to be released on 819 and where the leak actually hurt 1501 as much if not more than megan rendering her claim to be specious and nonsensical man so they saying megan the sign is lying and in my eyes and many of my viewers eyes megan the stallion's credibility ain't too good it ain't too good it ain't too good but with everything in totality i would love to see what you guys think about all this me Listen, man, if both sides feel wronged, both sides feel wrong. It looks like Megan Thee Stallion was rocking and she was cool until Rock Nation has come along. And I'm going to be honest with you. Rock Nation, they've done some good things for Meg. They flipped that one situation in Tory real, real good. But it looks like that's the only play they had because everything else in her career is not going so well. So I'm not sure how strong Rock Nation is as a management team based on what's going on. Her career's hurting. Meat Mill just left them. Kevin Durant looking silly out here. Yeah, he's with Rock Nation. Like Rock Nation, I don't know what's up with Rock Nation right now, man. It looks like they're running her career into the ground, to be honest with y'all. 
it's like they, it's like she had her bubble and it's looking like it's popping and busting at this point in time. But as far as on 1501 side, I could see where they're coming from because business is business. And if your your best artist, your premier artist gets poached from up under you, you're gonna be pissed off and you're gonna be playing the most nastiest business back because you think someone did you bad, did you nasty in business. So you're like, shoot, I can't just be out here, oh, kumbaya, oh, nice guy. No, I gotta get dirty too. So by any means for us to get every single penny we can get out of Meg, we gonna have to get it. You know, sometimes people be watching these things and they think so much. You know, I want I know people want to relate with the artist. I know you want to relate with the artist because the artist is the person that you know and love. But you also gotta think of the businessman too that's that worked himself to put him that put himself in that position. He's trying to continue with his wealth. It's not charity work, this is business. So he's want to get what he can out of the business to be able to continue building his franchise or his record company. And if he's being discredited by his, his best work to date, it's like, damn. So he has to fight for that. He has to fight behind his brand. So I think sometimes the masses, we just could relate so much to the victim mind state of the artists and you know especially us black people, we could relate so much to, oh, they're not making this road as easy as possible to me that we forget that the other person is black too, especially when they're in positions of power. They're like, well, you're no better than the than the, the, the master. You're acting just like them. It's like, man, business is business, dog. <laughs> that shit crazy. I thought she was done with that project. Um, rumors have it that she's going to be moving to Atlantic Records when she's done. That's the rumors. That's what they whispering and saying, that she's going to be signing with Atlantic Records once she is officially, officially a free agent. So. We gonna sit and watch this thing play out. I don't know. It's Wes Stacy. Yo.